Regulatory definitions can be important. Uh, they often do not match what you would be kind of think of when you hear things in a everyday kind of sense. Like for instance, if I asked you what a battery is, you might say, well, Joel, a battery is a, uh, a chemical device that stores chemical energy. All right, maybe pro you probably would not be, <laughs> you probably wouldn't be so technical. You'd probably say, yo, Joel, see that double A battery right there? Yeah, that's a battery. And from an everyday definition, that's totally fine. But when we're talking about regulations, they do have specific definitions for these things. A lot of what we think of when we hear the word battery is actually considered to be a cell in the DOT hazmat regulations. And a cell is a storage device that consists of an anode and a cathode and an electrolyte. And then that allows us to convert chemical energy into stored energy. So a lot of things that we would call batteries, you know, in everyday life are actually a cell. Kind of easiest way to think of a cell is it's just one single unit. So for instance, those AA batteries that you see on the screen, we would actually call that a cell in the regulations or the button cell that you see on the screen. Again, that would also be a cell. Well, if that's a cell, what's a battery? Well, if you take a look, a battery is actually when you have multiple cells connected together in series to create more energy output. So, you know, we have kind of a good picture on the screen here. You see that little blue battery device there? If you take a look there, you'll notice it's actually what appears to be kind of eight individual AA or AAA batteries, again, connected together to form one large battery. So that's kind of the key difference between a cell and a battery. And, you know, I would say, you know, in most cases, when you ship cells and batteries, the rules for shipping them are, are mostly the same, but there are some important times to know whether it's a cell or a battery. And you'll see actually some of that kind of as we go through the presentation today. If you're new to shipping lithium batteries, there are four key fundamentals that you need command of to do it right. Grab the ultimate guide to those four keys from lion.com slash four keys. Then watch our full video on YouTube to find out what lithium battery shippers need to know for 2024.